Alrighty, so home light super XL auto that we recently ported. We're gonna do two tests at the same time today. I have been running a stock muffler, uh, no modifications whatsoever. And those of you that are familiar with the saw, there's been a lot of different, there's been several different muffler styles put on this saw. And the one I've been running is probably the one that's the most restrictive to the saw. So today I pulled it apart and removed all the internal parts and put it back together. Completely gutted it. So we're gonna try that out. And I decided to go ahead and put a 28 inch bar on it. This is sharpened a little more aggressively, so I don't know if it'll be able to handle it, but we're gonna stick it in a piece of verd oak here. That is every bit, probably gonna eat the whole bar. Uh, let's see what happens. Uh, the chain might be a little too aggressive though, so we'll soon find out. Alrighty.
piece of wood so i'll have to sharpen it up that's all right though it actually didn't make a difference no difference at all between the 24 and the 28 none at all so that means i got more torque than i thought i actually wasn't expecting that it does run better with the muffler uh the trigger's snappier uh uh, RPMs, I don't think I gained any, but, uh, the trigger was really, really super sluggish before, and now it's, it's cleaned up quite a lot. That's the biggest difference I've noticed. So, I think this 28-inch bar combination, the way I got it set up here, I think that's the way I'm going to run it. It, uh, definitely does well. So, <sighs> you know, the muffler is just too restricted. It was extremely sluggish. Still had torque, but it was just, it was real sluggish. Now it's nice and it's, it's a lot better. So now I'm going to fire up the splitter here and get some work done. Maybe I'll get some more footage here. We'll see. But until next time, later.